Now, what does this mean for me and for you that this ministry has clarified this? That has a great significance because Paul gave a warning. Look at what 1 Corinthians chapter 4 First letter to the Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 5. Therefore, judge nothing before time until the Lord comes, who will both bring to the light the hidden things of darkness and reveal the intentions of the hearts. Then each one's praise will come from God. So then I answer for myself, I would say, notice this mystery has never been explained. So then Paul says, and don't judge nothing because until the Lord doesn't arrive, this is not going to be clarified. So what that tells me is that that gives me the position of the man Christ Jesus. Because notice our enemies say, no, we know that that mystery, that which was hidden there in darkness, only Jose Luis has clarified. So we have to conclude why he has clarified it. Because Paul says, this don't judge until the Lord comes because he's the only one that can clarify it. So then the darkness of the Roman papacy has been maintained for many years. Every pope that comes is a successor of Peter. And who was Peter? A man that obligate the Gentiles to Judaize. A man, a man that lied. Look, in those 14 years when Paul spoke with him, and then after the 14 years, Paul went up to Jerusalem, Peter had time to understand what Paul taught him. He should have said, man, you know, Paul has confronted me several times, but I'm going to continue obligating the Gentiles to circumcise. I shouldn't do it because if I obligate them to do so, I am violating a very important principle. That's where Peter's wickedness lies because he persisted in preaching something that did not belong to us. That is why this is the mystery of iniquity. So then look at what it says in the second letter of Thessalonians chapter two, because this papacy that has existed for many years that we are awaiting for its collapse. You know how marvelous is this? There's 5 million people that wait 24 hours to see a man who has deceived them, to see a system that is the blame for all the corruption that's taken place in this world, to see a man that has guided them to deception, promoting religiosity that doesn't please God, idolatry, prayers that have nothing to do with the Christian council. Ceremonies, many of all types. Listen, bless, don't let yourself be deceived. Don't fear, 